We have seen how to inject a specific filter as a dependency in our controller, but that solution was valid for both controllers, directives, and services. So you can use the same identical procedure to inject the dependency wherever you need it. Let's see now how to inject the filter service that we can use to pre-filter our code as we just did, but this time we can define which filter we need to invoke. So we are not confined to a single filter, we can use all of them inside the filter service. So we can simply inject the dollar filter in our user controller. And this time we'll type this dot event list equals dollar filter. The first parameter is the filter name. We'll use the order by filter and I'm also going to remove it from my template. And the second parameter will be our collection, the event list, followed by the field that we want to order by. So that will be the name field. And we can also use a third parameter, which is a Boolean value that defines if it should be in reverse order or not. We will leave that empty for now. If we look at our list, it's now ordered in an alphabetical order. Let's see if we can order by category instead. So we'll just type category dot name as we did previously. And now our records are all ordered by category. If we want to enable the reversed order, we can simply add the comma and set it to true. And that's our reversed order. So far we have seen how to inject a specific filter in our controller, how to use the filter service, and now we'll see how to create our own filter, a custom one, thanks to what Angular provides.